Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for a speed build. So today we are building an off the grid house in Sulani. Um, I, I love the way it turned out, <laughs> even though I... I had went to Twitter once I started building it and I was like, look, you know, I haven't really played much with this off the grid trait. What do I need to know about these appliances? What works? What doesn't? What lights work? What doesn't? Like, how does this work? And uh, nobody got back to me until after I had finished the build, which was unfortunate. Uh, so I was a little blindsided going into this because I had no idea what was going to function, what wasn't going to function, but thankfully I went back in and play tested it just a heads up and I found some of the lights I used that kind of look like lanterns, look like candles burning, would, in my thought would be like a flame apparently use electricity so I did have to replace some of the lights on the inside um, thankfully I used the right icebox refrigerator I used the right plumbing and everything so yeah I think it turned out really nice but I mean just from what I've heard since people finally got back to me about this build or the off the grid lot trait and what I asked about it was that it's just really frustrating to play in because of the negative moodlets your sims are going to get when they're using the shower the little makeshift shower um, they said you really can't clean anything it's just it's frustrating so hopefully they will update some of the items that we already have um, I don't see them really giving us an off-the-grid type pack or anything which would be cool but I mean at this point it's I'd rather have something else, you know? Um, so, yeah, hopefully they can update some of the stuff to make it a little bit more functionable. Functionable, but overall, <laughs> I do love the way this build turned out. I do struggle with the roof quite a bit, so you're going to see me go back and forth with the color swatches, but I actually end up going back to that orange roof. Uh, I just thought that looked really nice, but. Anyways, of course, this house that I'm building, the plan, the floor plan, um, y'all know me. I just, I just can't really do it myself. I can tweak some things and make it, you know, tweak some things. I can renovate stuff, but I did find this uh, house on Pinterest. So if I remember, y'all know I'm really bad at it. And if I forget, just let me know, hey, post it um, or link it and I will. I just need a reminder sometimes but anyways I will link the house that I found on Pinterest that kind of inspired this build. Uh, I just I love it. <laughs> it is really cute turned out really nice and um, it is two bedroom and it's got a little bathroom but it's kind of like an outhouse technically you get to the bathroom from the porch and then upstairs there's like this big activity room because as far as like off the grid living to me i would imagine that these sims that live here don't work your regular nine to five job i imagine that they do a lot of odd jobs and maybe part-time jobs or you know they just skill build and you know freelance and whatnot so I did give them a room upstairs so they can paint um, I do imagine that they travel a lot possibly to Selva Dorada so I did give them like an archaeology table up there which isn't really like a money-making skill but I just felt like it fit them. Um, there's just a lot of activities for them to do, to get involved in. I don't know, I just feel like living off the grid. Um, it's it's dark in the house, which there's lights, there's candles everywhere, but it's still not very bright. Uh, I feel like I'd have to be outside all the time. That's just me. Um, but anyways, I did try to give them some activities for them to get their hands into so they're not bored, I guess you would say. So... I did give them a little scuba rack, so I can imagine some one of them being into diving, and I gave them the camera so they can take with them and take some pictures. Um, I did include some potter plants for them to plant their own produce and um, stuff like that, a bee box to make some money. So yeah, I tried to make it really realistic to how I would think somebody living off the grid would live but overall I think it turned out so 
nice. I'm obsessed with Sulani still. And just a little update. I know, I feel like I'm way behind on the Sulani Island adventure. No, okay, not Island Adventure. Why is everybody doing that? I'm doing that. Everybody's calling it Island Adventure. Um, oh my gosh. Island Living. There you go. <laughs> uh, um, I feel like I'm behind. I feel like everybody was on a roll with their builds and everything. But at the time, I... I think it was the weekend. Yeah, the weekend that this came out, the expansion pack, I was having a baby shower that weekend. And a baby shower means lots of unpacking. So I had to take a break from The Sims. I was kind of all baby mode. <laughs> so I didn't get to play with it a lot. Now I did create a current household, which I did share. And I played with her a little bit and I haven't really picked back up where I left off, honestly. I just haven't really had time to play. Um, and I did do a little bit of exploring. There's still a lot that I, I want to explore. I haven't played with the mermaids yet. I haven't explored the, um, what's that career? The career, oh my gosh, conservationist career. Yeah, I haven't explored that yet and I hadn't built anything yet. So uh, I definitely wanted to get in and do a build and kind of get that out there for you guys because here's what I'm doing. So I'm not really sure when this is going to get uploaded. Um, if it's gonna be before I have the baby or after I have the baby, but I just wanna update you guys on what has been going on since I haven't been uploading a lot and I haven't been super duper active. But since I did have my shower, I have mostly gotten the nursery ready. I do have one shower coming up this weekend currently that I'm doing this voiceover. Like I said, not really sure when this build is going to go up. But I have another shower, so I will have a lot more to organize. But as far as right now, um, I'm pretty much where I can... They can't really do much else. Just kind of wait on the baby to get here. So I have been doing a lot of building, and I've done... Um, I think I have like six builds. I still have to do voiceovers on all of them and thumbnails and everything, but basically my plan is while I'm kind of just waiting on the baby to get here, as long as I'm up for it and in the mood, I'm going to be doing a lot of building, a lot of creative sims, just a lot of pre-recording, trying to get the voiceovers ready and everything that way. You know, even if I don't get around to all the voiceovers but at least I have some builds when the baby's here and I get a chance to I can do the voiceover and upload them so I just I, I'm not inactive for such a long time because I don't know what to expect with the newborn I don't know what my schedule is going to be like um eventually I will have to go back to work um so yeah we're just kind of rolling with the flow here but my plan is to just keep building as long as i'm inspired and feeling it and we're going to have some videos coming your way you know on my little maternity leave and they might not be like current live at this time but <laughs> nonetheless i will have some content on my channel for you guys but anyways, back to the actual build here. Um, as far as the family that I imagined living here, I don't really have one. <laughs> um, I know I wanted to make it two bedroom just for the possibility of it being roommates or something, which that's kind of what I have in mind. Um, I don't even know if it's male or female. The rooms are kind of like gender neutral, so it's kind of up to you. Uh, I just y'all know me i rarely rarely do one bedroom builds um because i do like the possibility of your sims adding on to it or growing their family <laughs> and i'm just a family oriented sim player so and when i build i try to keep that in mind even if you know like i said i use it as a guest bedroom or a hobby room or something like that there's always an option for you to have an extra bedroom if you're you know sim gets pregnant or they have a family uh, if they don't want to leave some people actually don't use cheats and they like to play uh like to play like what originally like like the real mvp like they for real save their money and will not move into a house unless uh they can afford it yeah you know, I was, I was thinking about those Sims, <laughs> and uh, you might not be able to you know, move into a huge house after you move from your little starter house, so anyways, as you can see uh, in the kitchen there that I just finished, which 
so cute. I love how it turned out. I did add lights for each room, obviously, so when I'm decorating, I could see what I was doing because it's kind of like dark. Um, but as soon as I finished the room, I deleted the main source of light and I went in and added some candles and stuff like that. So some of the lights that you're going to notice if you download this house, some things are going to be replaced. And that's those lanterns right there that came with cats and dog. I thought that those would function kind of like as off the grid type objects just because they're lanterns, right? Um, but I guess because it's plugged into the wall, like a, technically an electrical socket. But to me, I was thinking more of it was just a lantern hanging on the wall. I really think that they need to update some of <laughs> the lights because that light along with the standing lantern hanging, it's like a, y'all see it when I use it. I use it for the first time in the living room. Um, well, there's two of them actually. One came with outdoor living and one came with, I don't remember, but it's like a lantern, legit, like just hanging on a piece of wood. And I don't know why that would not be <laughs> appropriate for off the grid. So that was frustrating. But anyways, I did go in and replace those. Obviously, I could not find anything that hung on the wall that functioned, so I just kind of had to place some of the lanterns on the floor, which is fine. I just tried to kind of, you know, brighten it up as much as I can without overdoing it because I didn't want candles and lanterns everywhere, but obviously the normal candles function and everything like that, but... Anyways, here in the living room, I'm just giving them a little Don't Wake the Llama Table bookshelf. Just, like I said, trying to give them something to do, something fun to do. And those curtains that I used that came with City Living, um, they're kind of like blingish. And at first I was like, oh, I mean, they go great with the color scheme, don't get me wrong. But it's kind of like... Does that look tropical? But to me, it's, it, it does. It kind of reminds me of seashells. But there's that lantern that I'm talking about. Um, I put it so pretty. It looks so pretty in the house. But I had to end up, you know, deleting it because it was not functional. So that sucks. <laughs> but anyways, the shelf here that came with Island Living. I love it. I love being able to customize it and put, you know, different stuff on it, even though the problem with that is I feel like we don't have enough clutter. So anytime that I've used it or, you know, I haven't used it much, but I can imagine that I'm going to run out of things to put on it. Just like when I do my end tables and the entryway, I just feel like I use the same stuff over and over again. And I'm still all for a clutter pack. If you're with me, say say a i don't know <laughs> but seriously we need like some more clutter you know what i'm saying uh but anyways yeah here are the two bedrooms they're quite small um but nonetheless <laughs> they are gender neutral like i said and i don't have like specific sims in mind like i usually do it kind of like comes to me like a story or something but i just uh, i don't know i, I couldn't i couldn't i just Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Not too familiar with off the grid living and that type personalities, but anyways, I do imagine that it would be, you know, two roommates or something like that, and they moved to Solani, or maybe they're from Solani, I don't know, but they're really into, you know, off the grid living and, you know, being eco friendly and stuff like that. So I think that'd be really cool, fun way to play the game hopefully I will be able to kind of play around with that soon I just feel like I'm always busy you know if you have a YouTube channel you probably feel me but you feel like you I mean I feel like I can't necessarily enjoy the game play on my long for long because when I get into it I, I can like go days and hours deep into a sims life like playing <laughs> and then I'm neglecting my channel and my building and I'm getting behind and I just feel like I always have to be doing something for my channel so anyways hopefully I'll be able to get back <laughs> into it once I have the baby I doubt I'll have time to actually play the game if anything I will be working on content for the channel but you know <laughs> I do want to kind of like explore what it would be like to live off the grid maybe you know the sim that I put here to play test maybe I'll just play a day through with her just to see um because I've haven't really experienced it myself but I have been told um that you know it's just very frustrating and the negative mood that your sims get from using you know the 
plumbing that is functional for this type of lot. Um, I don't know, I just kind of want to experience it myself and see what I think about it. And also, like, mermaids and all that. I haven't done any of that yet. So, yeah, I really need to, uh, you know, I haven't even, to be honest, I haven't even explored really getting famous. I haven't. I haven't had a famous sin. <laughs> I just haven't. So, I don't know. Maybe one day. But anyways, um, that light right there is that little lantern looking light. Which is a stand-up light, which reminds me of like the actual other lantern light I used. Um, that's the light that I used. I think I ended up replacing those other lantern lights with just because they were functional. But anyways, in this room right here, I did just put a single bed because I love that wicker bed that came with Island Living. So um, even if they are roommates, I mean one's just gonna have a, have to settle for a single bed. I don't know. Maybe you can move a kid in here, a teenager. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. Also, the room upstairs, which you can only get to it from outside the porch, the stairway leading up. You could also use that for like a master bedroom because it's quite big. Um, but like I said, I just decided to use it for a study. I don't know. I just don't necessarily see this being an ideal family home. Maybe, possibly... I don't know. I mean, you could, but I, for me, I just, I didn't see it. So I wasn't thinking family oriented in mind because I just, I don't know. I just can't really imagine like a little toddler or child running around in a house like this with just candles and fire everywhere. It's just kind of um, hazardous if you ask me. So anyways, those little skateboards that came, I think it, what, they come with parenthood or something like that. I like to size them up and kind of give the illusion that it's uh, a surfboard so <laughs> that'd be really cool if we would have got surfing you know, guys I haven't even used the jet ski yet I haven't I did get on the boat but I haven't used the jet ski in this game pack I am slacking the more I talk about it I'm like girl simmer who <laughs> I've turned into like a builder just strictly but that's okay because I'm getting better at building I'm enjoying it more and I am so satisfied when I finish a build. It's kind of like a thrill. It's addicting. It really is. <laughs> and I think all the builders can agree with me. But oh, here's the little outhouse right here. And I do have to replace the light in there. I stick a lantern on the floor because that's the only thing I could find that would work. <laughs> um, I put some like drains there in the floor kind of to give the illusion that, um, you know, it would just kind of drain down under the house. I don't know. But that sink that I'm currently using in the bill that came with laundry day, I would I would have thought that it would be, you know, rustic looking. Well, it's rustic looking, obviously, but I thought it would be kind of functional. It's not, okay? It's not. <laughs> I actually had to go back in and replace that sink with the sink that I used in the kitchen that came with the outdoor living. That's the name of that pack, right? The camping pack? I'm not really sure. But I do have to replace that as well. And then up here on this little balcony, which is so pretty, I just gave them some little lounge chairs, which are my favorite. I'm not really sure what's going on with the roof right here, y'all. I don't know. I'm not I'm not good when it comes to roofing. Like I'm just not. <laughs> in case you haven't noticed in my bills, I kind of struggle with them. But this odd roofing that goes on here, um I don't know why. I, it takes me a minute to figure out how to do it right where you can have the actual like wall and not the roof wall, but you know what? Honestly, it wasn't a big deal to me. So <laughs> I just didn't bother with it. I was kind of just almost I was so close to finishing this build i was like you know what whatever nobody's gonna care <laughs> so anyways this is their little hobby room upstairs i do add a window i thought that adding like a window would add some more light but i don't really think it does <laughs> it really didn't make too much of a difference but i gave them a little painting easel um and some canvases and stuff like that maybe one of them likes to take in the nature and the beauty of sulani and paint and they're inspired from that because i know you can make pretty good money freelancing your paintings and selling them i gave them that little table that came with um it, 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 I, um hmm? jungle 
Ad jungle uh, jungle adventure is that what it was oh my gosh i don't even remember the names of these packs anymore um i don't even know i just thought it looked very rustic and very islandy and obviously hmm, i don't know you could find their collectibles and stuff and you know they can display it there i don't know anyways <laughs> i was like i don't know what to put up in this room so it's kind of bare kind of left it a little bit uh blank i guess you would say well it's not blank it has stuff in it but you do have room to you know add to it if you want to download this house and your sims have a different hobby that i didn't include in this build you can easily do that and that scuba rack i actually end up moving it upstairs i size it down a little bit so it fits a little bit better i'm not really sure why my plants got deleted when i had exited out and went back into the safe i think it's probably because it's so close to the edge of the lot and i didn't go in with move objects on which is frustrating but anyways i do know that you can use the wood fire wood burning stove but I didn't use that. I used a grill and the fire pit that came with Island Living instead. And I did give them the off the grid type laundry deal. So they do have laundry baskets in their room. I don't remember if I included that. But if I didn't, I went back in and added them when I play tested but anyways yeah your sims have to wash their clothes by hand and hang them up to dry and I don't know I just think that's so fun like these are some hard-working sims that live here I just I respect that I do I appreciate it but anyways this build is wrapping up so if you liked it it is available for download on the gallery my origin id and all that is linked down below give it a thumbs up if you like it comment all your suggestions for future builds what you liked about this build in the comments down below and yeah i'll talk to you guys later bye mm -hmm.